Hi, this is Marie, episode 67, World Peas Knits and Crochets, and I have some sewing projects to share with you today. I'm not in my craft room. I'll go ahead and get started. I have so many things to share with you. It's been a while since I've done an episode. The last few videos have been tutorials, and I'll go ahead and, and talk about those as well. So the very first thing I have is this Saturday Shrug. And I used this Lana Grossa Dew, and it's an Erin weight yarn. I had nine balls, nine 50 gram balls that I went ahead and used um, for this project. You could make it as long as you'd like. You could make it as wide as you'd like. I um, cast on 144, which was more stitches than the original recipe had called for. Just a few more because my shoulders are broader, I thought, than the um, Jackie Rose who wrote um, the original recipe. And I love this. I used a size nine needles, nine 50 gram balls. I cast on loosely with a long tail cast on. And then I am just looking at my notes. Then I went ahead and did a tubular bind off at the bottom. Let me just show you how it turned out. I love it. It's super cozy. This is how it looks. And so you can pull it way down if you'd like. Or you can kind of have it up around your shoulders some more. But I just love how it turned out. It's so cute. I definitely decided after I made this, I decided I'd like to make another one. <laughs> this was just like a, a trial run in some yarn that I had on hand. And I thought I'm gonna get some yarn. You know, the original yarn I think that she used was Lemon Kid. Let me just go ahead and show you, I have it here. This is my next one that I'm already planning a next one. <laughs> I got this Barocco Ariel. And this is, let's see, it's 65% mohair, 35% silk. And so I got uh, these two colors and I got, and that's like a lace weight. The mohair is a lace weight. And I was gonna hold it in combination with this Todd worsted. I couldn't get the colors um, from Lamb and Kid in the mohair, it wasn't available when I went to order it. So I went ahead and got some Barocco to hold with it. But I got Todd Worsted 65 Yak, 35 Cashmere. And um, I love this, it's so soft. It's gonna be such a cozy Saturday shrug. I can't wait to start on it. And so I'm just gonna hold these two yarns together and stripe it. And I have a second skein of each. So I'm gonna make it kind of long and cozy, just like this one. I love how it turned out. You definitely have to try this recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, so the next thing that I um, was working on that I finished, I just have a photo of it. I don't have it here with me. It's West Yorkshire Spinners Gingerbread um, 1109 and then spruce 1006. And I made some fingerless mitts. And what I'll go ahead and do is it's my standard fingerless mitt recipe. I'll go ahead and show the photo here. And I used a size uh, 2.75 needle, a 64 cast on. And I'll link the video up here or down below um, if you're interested on how I make my fingerless mitts. I love how they turned out. They're super cute. The next thing that I have is an ear flap hat. <laughs> so I made this really, I really love it. I really love how it turned out. And I made a tutorial um, on how to make it. And it's a knit ear flap hat. And I'll go ahead and link the tutorial up above or down below. I'm not sure how many videos that this, um, that YouTube will let me link up above, but if you don't find it up above, you'll find it down below. And 
then the next thing that I have, and that ear flap hat has been so much fun. A lot of people have made it so far and they really liked it. So I, you should totally try it. I love how it turned out. And I'll be showing a photo here. You know, of, the, of me in my ear flap hat. <laughs> Okay, and then the next thing that I have is I made a bunch of these little sewn snack bags and I love how they turned out. I had made them once before. I made a whole set and I'll go ahead and show you um, the set that I made for Christmas gifts. And basically it's a food safe lining inside and then you just put your snacks inside, take them with you. And then you can go ahead and wash them. So you could just use like soapy water and wash them or just brush it out. Uh, and then just let them dry just like this. And then tuck them back in and use them again for the next um, time you have snacks. You can use, like you can put grapes or fruit or you could put, you know, almonds or cereal or whatever kind of snacks that you like. It's probably not good for really wet things, like I wouldn't put yogurt inside here, but any kind of other snacks that you take with you, instead of doing like the Ziploc bags, you can just make these reusable bags and use them. I love them. And so I made quite a few of them. I'm going to go ahead and show a photo of a few of them that I have that I gave for gifts for Christmas here. <laughs> Okay, so you totally have to try this. Um, I'm gonna link down below, uh, it's an Okla Roots tutorial and that um, Jess on um, Okla Roots on YouTube, she made the video of how to make the snack bags and I just followed her video. So I love how they turned out. I believe she has free patterns. You can just download the free paper pattern and print it and make it. Or I think she might even have just measurements so that you can just cut them out. I actually went on her website and ordered um, like plexiglass templates of it. So it's so fast. You know, she sells the plexiglass templates. She has like a, um, you know, laser cutter for plexiglass and she makes templates for her patterns. And this one I use so much, I went ahead and bought um, the plexiglass templates because I, and it's just super quick. You just, you know, cut with your rotary cutter around the plexiglass and sew them up. So I love these. All right, so the next thing that I have, and I'll link her down below, I'll link her video, and you can just follow the tutorial online, how to make her um, snack bags, and tons of people have made them. They just love them. Okay, and the next, the ne <laughs> the next video tutorial that I have, I made some leg warmers. So. I have a leg warmer tutorial of how to make leg warmers with worsted weight yarn. And it's it, it really is um, a, a popular video. And so I decided I would make a second tutorial on how to use some self-striping yarn and hold it, um, hold two strands together. And I held um, Freckled Whimsy, which was a 2022 advent calendar yarn. And then it's a self-striping yarn. And I held it with a one strand of undyed sock yarn. And I knit some leg warmers and I love how they turned out. They are so cute. So I made a tutorial on how to make the leg warmers and I'll link that up above. If again, if it will let me do another, you know, I'm not sure how many links up above it will let me do. And I'll also link it down below. Um, and I love how they turned out. I used size six needles and I will link the tutorial for you. Just double stranded it just with one strand of the freckled whimsy, one strand of the undyed sock yarn. And they are so cute and so cozy. I love them. All right, so the next thing that I have, okay. So I have made several of these. I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you the one that I have on my phone right now. 
And so these are like little phone charms and you just kind of, you can go ahead and put them on if you're gonna carry your phone like this and you don't wanna drop it. Or a lot of times what I do is I just have it inside of my backpack because I carry a backpack and then the strap is on the outside. And then I always know where my phone is. Like I can see that the strap is right there. If I hear it ringing, I can just grab the strap, pull it out and my phone's attached to it. It's just, it's awesome really. I really like these. And I saw on, um, I think it was on Instagram, this these sisters that have a, like a shop where they were selling these, not like, it wasn't a pattern or anything. It was just like some pre-made items. And I thought I can crochet those cause they're super cute. And basically they're made with just these little squares. And I showed this on another episode, but I made another one and I'm gonna show the picture right here. And it's a crochet boho foam charm. I used a size H hook and I used, um, slightly larger yarn. I used um, a slightly larger than fingering weight yarn. So it was like kind of a sport weight yarn along with a fingering weight held together. And it was um, Ferner Molly uh, socks wool and then West Yorkshire spinners. And I held them both together and I crocheted the little squares just like this. And then I went ahead and used undyed sock scraps, held um, two strands together for the outside edge. And then I did just some little ribbons and like torn fabric, like I had some torn denim on them. I really love how it turned out. The next thing that I have, okay, so I have some fingerless knits. So these, I love how they turned out. Oh my gosh. I love these fingerless mitts. I do have a tutorial on how to make them. Uh, on, this, on this particular pair, I did not put a thumb hole in it. I just made like little sleeves. I like, um, I like sometimes having the thumb hole and sometimes not. I kind of like it just like this. I think it's really cozy and sometimes I'll put a thumb hole on them when I make them. Sometimes I won't. My video, I, I added a thumb hole, but you'll just omit that part if you want to make them like this. But I love how they turned out. They're so cozy and nice. I made these with sock weight yarn. Um, this is what I use. I use Advent 24 Stripe from the Cozy Knitter. That's what it's. And this is what it looks like. I had quite a bit left over. Like I could make a pair of shorty socks or I could make a whole nother pair of these fingerless knits with what I had left over. And it came also with this, um, it came with this mini skein of Glitz Stellina. Now I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle in it, but it is undyed uh, Glitz Stellina base. And I love how they turned out. I just did a little bit of the glitz on the edge and then I did it again up here on both and then I just did the self-stripe um, sock weight yarn and I cast on 64 stitches. I used size 2.75 needles. If you wanted directions on how I do my fingerless mitts, I have a video and I'll link it down below. And I love how they turned out. So by the Cozy Knitter. And you know, the Cozy Knitter, she has all sorts of really cool self-striping sock yarn. And so you can go on her website and just get any self-striping sock yarn. She's got all kinds of striped yarn that she dyes. You don't have to use an advent necessarily, but this is a 24 stripe advent that she had during the holidays. And I love how it turned out. It's just so super cozy. Okay, so the um, I have one more item and, oh, and then I have um, another sewing item also. Okay, so my, um, my last knitting item that I have is, this is by Mustache Yarn. And she's also, um, she also has self-striping yarn that she dyes. 
And this is what I had left. I had two little balls left of it. This is in her gingerbread colorway. DK weight self-striping sock yarn. So I had made one pair of DK weight socks. This is what I had left of it after I made the socks, but I had made one um, pair of DK weight uh, winter socks before previously and I gave them away. So this is the pair I'm gonna make this pair for myself. So this is how they turned out. So cute, I love her yarn. And so this is mustache in the DK weight socks. I used a size three, 3.25 millimeter DPNs. I cast on 56 stitches. And this is in the gingerbread colorway, self-striping yarn. And this is my first pair of DK weight socks for myself. I'm super excited to wear them when it's cold in the morning. I love how they turned out. They're so fun. Okay, and so I had one last item that I was gonna share with you. So I was, you know, wishful thinking about summer and about how I wanted to make a new pair of shorts that I, I like to, <laughs> I like to take shorts and put like patches and stuff on them and I'll get like a distressed pair of shorts. So I got a pair of shorts from Old Navy and I got some patches that I had ordered and I went ahead and oh my gosh, I did some mending, some visible mending I, this one had some rips on it right here and I put some fabric behind it, some polka dot fabric. And then I, um, I ironed on some patches and then sewed around the outside and I just put pieces of fabric on them. And there's this little kitty, I love her. She's so cute. And then this little toast, oh my gosh, so cute. And I'll go ahead and this is the other side. It has some other patches that I sewed on. I just love to make fun little like summertime shorts and then she's on the back pocket like <laughs> she's so cute anyway I'll go ahead and show the picture here of the shorts laid out I thank you for joining me for today's video I love sharing with you all the stuff I've been working on I'll talk to you next time Bye.